A Sure Remedy by Charles Fillmore. Here is the mental treatment that is guaranteed to cure every ill that flesh is heir to. Sit for a half hour every night and mentally forgive everyone against whom you have any ill will or antipathy. If you fear or if you are prejudiced against even an animal, mentally ask forgiveness of it and send it thoughts of love. If you have accused anyone of injustice, if you have discussed anyone unkindly, if you have criticized or gossiped about anyone, withdraw your words by asking him in the silence to forgive you. If you have had a falling out with friends or relatives, if you are at law or engaged in contention with anyone, do everything in your power to end the separation. See all things and all persons as they really are, pure spirit, and send them your strongest thoughts of love. Do not go to bed any night feeling that you have an enemy in the world. Be careful not to think a thought or to say a word that will offend. Be patient, loving, and kind under all circumstances. You can do this if you are faithful to the silent hour because there you will be helped to overcome the selfishness of the carnal sense. There is an immutable law lying back of this healing method. God is love, and love is manifest as life. God is thus manifest in and through all his creations. If we do ought to cut off the love of any person, we are cutting off the love of God. Hence, we are cutting off the life that flows through all. When we, by withdrawal from our fellows, in any way cut the cords of love that bind us together as men and women, we at the same time sever the arteries and veins through which the universal life flows. We then find ourselves mere bundles of strained nerves, trembling and shaking with fear and weakness, and finally dying for the lack of God's love. The omnipresent spirit ever seeks to flow into us and to stimulate us in every faculty. We must, however, by our own words and acts, acknowledge this all-powerful presence as the moving factor in our life, because each of us has inherent free will, which welcomes or rejects all, even God not being accepted. Self-condemnation is also a great error, leading to dire results. If you have accused yourself of ignorance, foolishness, fear, sickness, anxiety, poverty, anger, jealousy, stinginess, ambition, weakness, or if you are melancholy and indulge in the blues. Ask for forgiveness for each of the loving Father whose image and likeness you spiritually have perfect life. Say often to this omnipresence, I do now sacrifice these human limitations unto thee, O Father. I am obedient unto the law of my being, and I know that in thee I am brave, true, energetic, wise, pure, perfect, strong, rich, and courageous. Thou art my almighty resource. I do trust in thee utterly. This concludes A Sure Remedy, A Treatment for Every Ill by Charles Fillmore. If you have a book you would like me to record here on this channel, please mention it in the comments. If you received value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more audiobook videos. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support. I'm sending you oceans of love and peace, and I'm wishing you success in all your life missions and purposes. See you soon!